Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk with you about how to write a book in 28 days. Um, writing a book is a pretty heavy task in itself, but writing a book in 28 days is even heavier. So you want to plan your time wisely. Um, and here I have a uh, calendar of October in front of me. Um, and if I want to start my book on the 1st of October, I'm going to take that first week, and I'm just going to spend that week idea gathering. Um, I'm going to spend that week... Uh, compiling research and thoughts on the book, um, fact or fiction, getting it all in my head and all written down. Um, I'm going to spend that week uh, maybe possibly even starting to write some things down if I get ahead of myself. Um, the thing about writing a book in 28 days is you're pretty much going to need all of your time in that 28-day period, so you won't be able to, to have an outside job. You won't be able to um, do the normal things that you do. You'll have to actually spend all of your time writing, in my estimation, um, in order to do this. Um, the second week, your your week writing, and at the end of that week, I believe it would be a great idea for you to get someone to read your book for you and to tell you, you know, what they think of it, so that you can get some sort of feedback and pick the most reliable person in your life um, to do this for you and the person that whose opinion you value the most. Um, and so once you get that back. And once you've had a day, and that one day I want you to take for yourself and take a breather and think about what you've written, go back and read the book yourself again and think about what you need to do in order to rewrite it. So I would spend the last week rewriting the book, um, tweaking things, um, going back and doing major facelifts on chapters and moving things around um, until finally the 28th day, um, and the end of your uh, period of writing um, where you will be completely done. So, good luck with that.